you know, I have different days. Red days, amber days, green days. These range from severity of my suffering. Today is a red day. Every day has been a red day lately. My suffering. I'm trapped inside this cage in bitter despair. I despise who I am. I have no interest in changing. Prozac, Cipramor, Seroxa, Effexa, Tryptosol, Pofrina. Some of the antidotes I attempt to ingest to soothe the suffering. The ordeal that I go through. I try to avoid the word drugs to make myself seem less fucked up than I already am. Day in, day out. The same scheduled routine. I think I've had enough. I might get drunk. I'm just trying to make it back to reality. The old reality. Life is in black and white with no escape. My suffering is glamorised throughout the media. My story. My entire existence. My depression. There, I've said it. I've come to the terms with the fact that my suffering is statistically depression. I've seen physiologists. They all say the same thing. It gets better as soon as you accept it, Effie. Like fuck does it? I've accepted it for the past year. I've accepted this emptiness within my cage. In my mind, I'm dead. Maybe not physically, but mentally. Why do I still exist in this world full of people I despise? Kurt Cobain, my idol. He was a sufferer. He committed suicide because of a silent illness. That's what the worst thing about this is. It's silent because it's unnoticeable. Not to mention that I try to remain silent about this. I'm forever in debt to the priceless advice that these somewhat qualified physiologists have to offer. Speaking from the tongue of an experienced simpleton, who obviously would rather be dead than in reality. A shotgun to my head would do the job. Quick, and hopefully pain free. Why didn't Dark Cousin try to save me when I overdosed? That's when I lost faith in religion. When I realized that there was no afterlife. Nothing. There is nothing after death. And that's what fucking sucks the most. Why was my body revived and flushed? I know you're trying to help, Mum. But let me die. Let death consume my cage. I'll still be with you in your heart. It's not physically. I may be here with you physically now, but with myself. I'm only here mentally. I don't eat. I don't drink. And when I do, I puke it back up. I can't help it. It's for the greater good. It was obvious from a young age that I'd be a sufferer. I painted my nails black, dyed my hair a darker shade, and I genuinely loved it. My skin had that summer warmth throughout the year. It transitioned into coldness when the depression hit though. It almost feels like something is weighing me down. A boulder perhaps. Then I realised that depression can affect anybody. It can affect any single person in the world. And that's what the most scariest thing about it is. One day you can wake up feeling like I do. It's indescribable the pain I go through. Not just mentally, but physically too. It's as if nobody is there for me. Which is the most tragic thing about it.